I can tell you about the Joe I know. And the Joe I know sold a family when he came to a farm in Wapwallopin, Pennsylvania, about 20 minutes outside of Wilkesbury, PA. Sat down in the kitchen on two occasions. After going back and forth, less about football and more about life, my dad, straight shooter, looked at Coach Joe Paterno, eyeball, eyeball, and said, I want your word on it that if my son gets to the university, and decides that football takes a back seat to education and he just wants to pursue his education. I want your word on it that he'll keep his scholarship. Joe looked at my dad and said, you have my word on it. And the rest is history. Thank you. Thank you. I think I think it would convey. He's he was my dad, a man of few words. Joe Paterno, man of few words. I mean, they can go on. Don't get me wrong. They can go on like I could in this interview about example after example, time after time, illustration after illustration. But uh, thank you. I've done it before. He knows. I've communicated with him. I've dropped many a postcard in the mail just to say thanks. He might not even know what for, but I think he did. I think he did, you know. Could sum it up just in thanks, you know. Um, and that comes from my dad, who's now since passed, my brother, a whole family, my sister, who even followed us to Penn State afterwards because he was much more than just a football coach. It was much more than wins and losses. It was winning, but how you went about winning. What else you brought? Did you respect the rights of others? Did you maximize your potential? Whatever it was that you were doing, whether on that football field or off in the classroom, in life. Those who went out and contributed the most to society and happened to play for him was his team. So I'm still trying to make that team. My dad would say, if he were alive, jury's still out on me. So got a long way to go and I'm still trying to get there so Joe thanks for the motivation thanks for our time together <laughs>